have this on notice. Yikes. I'm not going to go in an Uber right now. <laughs> I just want to let Carlos know he's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but this is clean, no swearing. This is broadcast. Yeah, yeah, this is no, the federal no airwaves. Yeah. Understood. <laughs> but you go pussy. Yeah. You can weirdly call somebody a pussy, and that's yeah. totally fine. Oh, I can? Yes. Yeah. You can take pussy and dick you, and, like, weird shit. No, you can call somebody a dick, you can't reference, like, you... I, I understand. Yeah. So, yeah. You can be a shit, but not take a shit. No, you, you can't, can't say shit. You can't say that word. Yeah. Oh, no, I won't say that. Yeah. Yeah. Conceptually. Yes. Okay. Exactly. But he is a pussy, and that's okay. <laughs> he is a pussy. <laughs> he didn't come in today because he knew you were coming. No. Well, that's what no. I'm about to say. <laughs> <laughs> that was not it, but... Go for it. <laughs> I like that. Thanks for letting me crash. Yeah. Of course. Appreciate you coming. Oh, man. Uh, for a minute, I thought you were big time in us. I was like, she's not yeah. coming in. She said Danny in. Yeah. Do all the dirty work. <laughs> no, babies. I would have been here. <laughs> Shit went downhill. It's all good. Uh, we're just happy. You made what? it. What? No cursing. I, we already discussed, I can't say <laughs> pussy, but not shit. <laughs> That's the first thing I asked. Love you. <laughs> he knows me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah we're live on YouTube. YouTube. Sorry. Right I want you to say hi to Oh, hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I would have uh, paid attention to sitting nicely. That's so nice. have they been... Have they been getting audio of my oh, complete, yeah. oh, yeah. my complete rundown oh, of what I can it. and can't yep. say? Sorry, yep. we had to, our sign like might have fallen YouTube, down. YouTube, you are motherfuckers. Yeah, <laughs> take that, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, during the break, it's fine. Yeah, just not. Well, yeah, no, I totally get it. We're gonna have that. Believe me, I worked with the in so long. It's like a watch your mouth situation. Mm. Now that I'm back doing the. Uh, the new shows with the new kids. It's been a while since I've been on my Nickelodeon mindset. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. And they're like, ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, fudge cakes. I know. That's what we used to say until my son thought it was funny to say. Like, we'd be like, fudge cakes. And he's like, fudge cakes, fudge cakes. No! <laughs> Well, this might be awkward, but uh, but I couldn't pass up telling the story. Welcome back to the Monsters Mornings on Real Radio 104.1, broadcasting live on iHeartRadio <laughs> everywhere in the world, and we yeah. appreciate you guys being here. Okay, so uh, I told this story a little bit earlier. I told it quicker than than Carlos yeah, you didn't would give tell it. Justice. I didn't give it justice, yeah. but but I, she heard it on the way up, <laughs> up here in her Uber and came in. And with us right now is Lori Beth uh, Dumberg, who uh, thank you for coming in. Yeah. Uh, well, I, once I'd heard the Carlos gauntlet thrown well, I thought I should come and take a seat well, yeah. let, let me let me try to explain it one more time for new listeners that are just here so uh, Carlos uh, I've been doing this show for almost 30 years oh. Carlos uh, came on when he was about 19 he was a kid and, and when he and when he was a kid he would t- he told me the story and, and he's been telling the story for for ages now of when he was a kid he was able to go on Nickelodeon a couple times and do some stuff and for whatever reason I don't know what it was he was eight years old or whatever mm. uh, he's like I can't I can't stand that Lord Lori Beth, Lori Beth uh, Dunberg, and if I ever see her, now he knows this was wrong. By the way, he's, he's not alone. He's older. Say, he's <laughs> older now. He knows this was wrong. Yes. Because if I ever see her, I'm gonna punch her in the face. Mm-hmm. And, and, and he yeah. would tell. He would. It's tell, a little bit more deep seated than that. He would sit there and watch all that, and he would do when you would come on. Like for some reason, for some reason, he he he, he like. Did not like you, and, and he, can, he can't friends. explain why. I've asked him this, and he can't explain. It. It's just like I would see her get on, and I would like get like viscerally Man. angry when she would take take the screen. And then so one day, and I would tell my friends, "She is such a bitch. I, I know it. I know she's the worst. I'm gonna and if punch I ever her. See her. I'm gonna punch her." And then he got the chance to see you. Well, no, he was, he went to he went to some laser tag thing yeah. downtown Orlando, and and him and his friends are, are doing, and turns around and right there to, right to your face, and his friends are hitting him, going, "Hey." Punch her, punch her, and he's like, ah, oh, because he, you know, he got scared. Like he didn't really, he didn't really. Oh want to well, do- yeah, no, because he's a big pussy. <laughs> which is, uh, I don't think it's coincidental that he's not here right now to face me. No, no, yeah. no, that's Carlos behind you, by the way. I put, uh, I put his photo up uh, with the to the top. all the way in the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's a nice uh, guy. I could take him. <laughs> 
he's a nice guy now. He was just a kid at the time. Yeah. But, uh, but but did you ever did you have a lot of that uh, uh, I don't know uh, uh, hatred towards from people uh, when you were when, when no, you were doing the Carlos show? No, Carlos obviously have some deep seated emotional problems that just <laughs> well, came out. Oh yeah. Uh, and I say had, I probably mean has. No, yeah. he's um, fine now. He well, we should set up though, like at least a water balloon fight. Like if he really needs that from his childhood <laughs> to take a swing at me, we should set it up. Yeah. So then I can bury him. Yeah. Well. yeah. So, so I was going to give you an opportunity to give a message to Carlos, who, who uh, wanted to punch you at eight years old. Uh, what, what would you say to, to Carlos now, uh, uh, Lori? Well, back then, I would have suggested he talk to the school counselor. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's but, a nice girl. Uh, he's over it now. He, you know, he, 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 I don't know. He, he still brings it up a lot. <laughs> like, he brought up this story weeks and weeks ago before we even had any idea you were coming. <laughs> So uh, that's that's I why I know this story. I think we need to story. meet face to face. I think you do. You are welcome to come back. He's coming back next week. You're welcome. Where to come. is he now? He, he's 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 ta- he, you know he's an actor and he does different acting things. He's been in The Walking Dead. He's been in the uh, right TV on. show. Uh, what's the new show he's on now? Uh, uh, the, Outsider. the Outsiders. He does oh, a lot of that. Carlos, you've taken your rage and turned it into art. I'm very proud <laughs> of you. <him. laughs> he has. He's I think you should take credit for this. I mean, you you, you had yeah. a lot. Of, yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. I think that your. Uh, Hatred toward me fueled your ambition. There you go. And, uh, I think if you ever write the biography, yeah, he's got a, he's got a, in the forward of the biography uh, autobiography, just like uh, to Lori Beth. Exactly. Yeah. I will still punch you. And I write <laughs> and I write a review like on the back cover that just yeah. trashes it. Yes. <laughs> So, so you were you were on all that. What are some of the other things that you've done, Lori? Oh, well, I was on all that. I was on a game show with Danny called Figure It Out. Yeah. That we got. That's the one that stuff dumped on us. Is, is yeah. that the one where he tells the story where he was he was winning and then he, they had a pecan pie up there and he didn't know what a pecan pie was so he called it an almond pie and I guess everybody was goofing on him and I and I think that might have been when he started to not <laughs> I don't know there was some story uh, about that. Poor so I story. I did that, figure sure. it out and uh, all that I did with Danny. I was on the Steve Harvey show. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. I played a uh, like most twenty five year olds. I played a high school student. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh yeah, and I've done a few other little projects, but those Didn't three you do are like double dare or something like a double kids you, you know what I did? They brought Double Dare back. Uh huh. And I went on as a special guest. Okay, that's Keenan what I thought. and Kel played. Gotcha. And I was like they they asked if I could bring wardrobe, and I'm like, well, how <laughs> filthy am I going to get? <laughs> like, what are you going to drop on me? A I lot know this score. And they were like, no, you're going to kind of co-host. So, and I was uh, like, all right. And then I watched <laughs> the boys just get filthy. Yeah. Did you, did you, when you're going to the airport, because you just got you just flew in and stuff, uh-huh. do, a lot of people still recognize you and say hi and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, people definitely recognize me. I'm certainly not mobbed. Yeah. You know, I'm, <laughs> yeah, certainly, yeah. I'm certainly able to go to the grocery store for myself. <laughs> right, right. But yeah. it's really, you know, over the last whatever decade or whatever, however many years, this resurgence of the 90s kids as the 90s kids came into their own yeah. and really brought back hard the nostalgia mm-hmm. that I'm a part of, yeah. which is like, you never expect it. You know, 25 years ago, I wasn't like, I bet in 25 years, <laughs> yeah. people are really going to, you know, people come up to me and say, you were such a big part of my childhood or I, you know, got bullied, but I'd watch you guys and it would make me feel better. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty, Most pretty definitely. amazing. Now, a show like all that, which is essentially a sketch comedy show, it's like Saturday Night Live for kids. Mm-hmm. Like, do, did you as a child do improv? I mean, what was the trajectory there? I did um, plays all throughout school. I just loved it. It's what I took to immediately. I loved television, too. And I would just be in every play that came up and know everybody's lines and want to do all the parts. And I would be in chorus and I would go to the drama, you know, at summer camp when you get like your free (laughs) period. Where do you want to go? I'd be like, I'm going to drama. So it was just always what I was very, very drawn to. And I knew it's what I wanted to do. I said, no, I want to be an actor. I know I've been in, in, in entertainment. I have no idea how that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But that is what is going to happen. Nope. And now I'm here. I was going to say. Yeah. And, and, what, and what are you doing now? I mean, I know you're uh, this weekend. You're going to be performing. I'm going to be with my Danny. We're having so much fun <laughs> yeah. on these tour dates. I. Uh, it seems like you guys are having a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. I do try to make him cry. I am the big <laughs> sister he never had. And I'm making up for lost time. Are you good uh-huh. at that? Are you good at making him cry? I'm... 
Well, I don't want to make him cry. That gets awkward for the audience. I just like to push him right up to the edge. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah, yeah. Right up to the edge. But um, I have Danny and I actually have a project uh, called the Tonopah Five. Okay. And mm. that you can look it up, Tonopah, T O N O P A H, the Tonopah Five. It's <laughs> on like the YouTube and the Instagram and whatever. Yeah. Um, and that is a digital series that he and I did together. I think that's when. It was just like a year or so ago and doing that project together and hanging out and having such a good time together is part of what gave him the idea to do this tour. Yeah. Because I just love to give him... Give him hell. Hell, hell. thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. catch myself. I, I, to, I, I can't wait to take this segment and send it to Carlos. Oh, and yeah. him to see it. Oh, Thanks. man. He'll Carlos. be recovering from... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Bring it. All right, you can go take right.